transmission issues in this truck. It's not shifting and it's making a loud whining noise. Let's get into it. When you're having issues like we are with this vehicle, you want to check the transmission fluid first. If there's not enough fluid in the transmission, it's not going to be able to circulate and have enough pressure to be able to actuate all the internals of the transmission. So it's very important that the transmission fluid be up to par. Most vehicles, you're going to need the engine running while you're checking the fluid, so double check your owner's manual when you're doing this. Pop the dipstick out. And just like checking your oil, you're gonna wipe it off with a rag. Reinsert the dipstick. And pull it out again. And you can see where the level is. As you can see, there's a large difference between the vehicle running and the vehicle not running. So you wanna make sure you do exactly what the owner's manual says. As you can see, there's some hash marks where the level should be when the vehicle's hot. Our vehicle's warm, it's not completely hot, but it's not cold, so it's right in between, so that's exactly where it should be. The problem with our vehicle is the fluid itself smells really bad, it is burnt. And in that situation, that's never a good thing. There's internal damage to the transmission, and just topping off the fluid isn't gonna fix this. The smell is hard to describe, but it's very potent, like a skunk that you can smell from miles away. Even if you had a large shop and you had a cup of burnt transmission fluid, it's gonna stink up the entire shop. It's a very unpleasant smell. It's pretty obvious the difference in transmission fluid. This is obviously fresh, and this is our burnt fluid. Dark fluid doesn't always mean you need a new transmission because over time the fluid is going to get dark and that's why it's a good idea to flush your transmission fluid. But when the dark fluid actually has a burnt smell like our fluid, then you've cooked the internals of the transmission and that's going to be an issue. Another situation, if the transmission fluid looks milky or almost like a milkshake, that means that coolant has gotten into the transmission and that's due to the radiator. There's a cooler in the radiator and if the coolant mixes with the transmission fluid that gets in there and it's gonna damage internal components in the transmission. You can't just flush it out and be done with it. You're gonna to have to replace the transmission or rebuild it. We also had a lot of noise coming from the transmission pump. It sounds very similar to a power steering pump that's failing type noise, but if we got under here with a stethoscope and just put it in this area, we would hear it all coming from the transmission, obviously not from the power steering. Initially, there could have been a problem with the pump and that's what caused the issue with the transmission. Most likely, it's the opposite. There was damage in the transmission and then that caused the pump to be howling like that. So when you're having transmission issues, one of the best case scenarios would be that you have a transmission leak whether you have a pan gasket that's leaking or oil cooler lines that are leaking, all of which you can get at 1AAuto.com, then all you have to do is top off the fluid and you should be good to go. But there is some exceptions. If you have a newer vehicle, a lot of them have computers in them and sometimes they glitch out. So if you don't see anything wrong with the fluid, it doesn't smell bad, it seems like it's clear and red or whatever the color of the fluid should be, then you may have a computer issue and that's gonna to have to be taken care of by the dealer. At this point, we're gonna drop the transmission pan and see what we can see in there. Either way, the fluid's gotta come out because we're replacing the transmission. So let's pull it out. This is exactly what you don't wanna see when you drop a transmission pan. There's a lot of big metal filings, a lot of big metal chunks, a little bit of metal, around the magnet wouldn't be bad, but this is not fine metal. It is fairly good sized chunks. So this transmission is completely junk. We're not gonna, we can't even mess around with this. In the event that you did not have any metal chunks in there and your fluid didn't smell burnt, you could have a problem with the TCM, which is located right here, that has all the solenoids in it that are gonna have to actuate when you're shifting different gears and stuff or even the valve body, which is right next to it. If you do have a problem with the TCM, the valves, or the solenoids, 
most likely you're going to get a check engine light with a transmission related code. In our case, we didn't have any of those because it's a mechanical failure. So the transmission itself doesn't even know there's anything wrong with it. All right, we've got the new transmission in. Everything's shifting great. We're back on the road. No problems, no whining noise. If you need any parts for your vehicle, you can get those at 1AAuto.com. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Is it rolling? All right, here we go. Da -da 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 -da. Ah, ugh. Ah, ugh. Let me write this out for a minute. <laughs> it's not fun, it smells. All right. <laughs> Hold on.